Hi, I'm Melody C. And this is where I talk about all things scuba. In this episode, which is my second episode in a three episode series on nitrox, I'm going to talk about 10 must know items when diving with nitrox. If you haven't, subscribe below so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. So let's take a look. So this has to be said, in this video, not intended to replace an enriched air nitrox class or certification. If you intend to die with nitrox, then take a class, become certified from a reputable organization and instructor since diving with nitrox can be fatal or cause serious injury. So the first item that you need to know is that handling nitrox is actually handling more content of oxygen. And oxygen, even though in and of itself is not flammable, don't tell me it is, it's actually not flammable, but it makes everything around it more flammable. So the higher the concentration of oxygen, because in a nitrox you're increasing the oxygen, the more flammable and dangerous that it can become because it ignites even faster and can explode. So the second item is oxygen toxicity. What is that? Well, oxygen toxicity means that at a certain depth, oxygen actually can become very toxic. So how does this affect you? Well, you can pass out and drown. So one of the most important factors is that you have to keep a very close eye on your depth because when diving with nitrox, depending on which blend you're using, you cannot go past a particular depth. We are mostly concerned with central nervous system toxicity. So if you're using an EAN gas of 32% nitrox, then you can only go down to 111 feet and not pass that depth. But are there always pre-signs or symptoms of central nervous system toxicity before you pass out? No. No, 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 no. But if you feel any of these signs, then head up, make sure to do your safety stop, and end your dive immediately. Or else. So let's review this really quickly. VENDID is the acronym that you can remember. It's visual disturbance, ears ringing, nausea, <coughs> twitching of the muscles, irritability, or dizziness. Knowledge item number four. Does nitrox help with nitrogen narcosis? No, it's the same. And actually, we don't really know what causes nitrogen or gas narcosis. All we really know is that nitrogen and other gases at deeper depths can or may cause a narcotic effect that causes you to be dizzy or feel drunk and giddy. So if you feel like dancing with the turtles at deeper depths, Head up and you'll sober up. Knowledge item number five. What is partial pressure? The air we breathe normally is made up of 21% oxygen partial pressure and 79% nitrogen partial pressure, which makes up 100% of total pressure. So partial pressure of the oxygen is only a portion of the total pressure. So the partial pressure of oxygen is 21% and you can write it as PO2-0.21. So as we go deeper or descend, the oxygen portion of the partial pressure changes individually from the other gases. Any percentage of oxygen can cause toxicity if given enough pressure. But if you're only diving with air, you would have to go really deep, like 220 feet, to experience acute oxygen toxicity while diving with only air. 
So the danger with nitrox is that it actually brings that within the recreational diving limits. So you have to be careful. I'm actually going to cover this concept a whole lot deeper in my third episode on nitrox. So subscribe below so you don't miss that episode. So you have to set your dive computer to partial pressure with nitrox, not so with air. You can set your dive computer's maximum partial pressure limit to 1.4 ATA or a contingency of 1.6 ATA. But if you're diving recreational diving, set your dang computer to 1.4 ATA. Contingency 1.6 ATA is usually only used for decompression off gases in technical diving. Depending on your dive computer, you should only have to set your partial pressure 1.4 ATA one time and then it's good to go. So number seven, must know item. You have to set your dive computer for the blend of nitrox that you're using. So after you set your partial pressure of 1.4 ATA in your dive computer, next you need to input the nitrox blend into your dive computer. So the two most used nitrox blend are 32 and 36% blends and they can be written like this. So if you're using an EAN gas of 32%, you're going to need to input 32% oxygen into your dive computer when diving with that nitrox blend. So next, you have to figure out the maximum depth you can go with the nitrox blend in which you are currently using. So if we have a 30% or a 32% nitrox blend and we set our computer to 1.4 ATA, we can go down a maximum of 111 feet. So you can find these depths or your maximum depth for the EAN gas that you're using either in your dive computer while scrolling or on the EAN gas dive tables. Knowledge item number eight, verify that tank. So when renting or filling up your own tank, you have to verify that tank's partial pressure of oxygen. Yes, you, 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 not your buddy, not your friend, not the company, you. So if you rent a tank and the sticker on the nitrox label says 32% nitrox, it could still read 36% nitrox. So test that tank. If you just took their word for it and you went ahead and set your dive computer for 32 but the tank was actually really 36, you could really be in grave danger. So now you know you need to test that tank. And this leads me to knowledge item number nine which is how to test the tank. So every shop should have an oxygen analyzer and you need to check the oxygen analyzer first on an air tank and the regular air tank it should read 21% oxygen. If it doesn't, it needs to be calibrated. So after you know the oxygen analyzer is properly calibrated, then you can test your own tank and make sure that it reads 32% if you plan to use 32% nitrox. So then you take the oxygen analyzer and you put it in front of the tank's valve and you turn it on. And then after it will calibrate pretty quickly and it will read the percentage of oxygen that is supposed to be in that tank. You need to verify that number with the sticker that was placed on the tank at the time of the filling. Or you can attach it to your regulator's first stage. So after you analyze the tank, you write that percentage down on the tank sticker. And you want to include the dive depth, your ATA, and your name so you know it's your tank. So your content sticker will have places for your name, your maximum depth, your partial pressure, and your blending analysis, and the date. So, make sure you have all of those items on your tank before you dive. Nitrox is actually a pretty cool dive gas to dive with, so go out there, get certified from a reputable organization before you attempt to use EAN gas. 
So I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about EAN gas. If you haven't yet, subscribe below so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. And make sure to check out my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter account. And if you love me, comment a heart below. Or a turtle. Or fish. Or kraken. Or until next time, happy diving!